Mary, Lazy Lime of Life, here uh, in uh, San Diego. I'm on vacation, that's why there hasn't been a video in a while. I thought I'd do this really quick um, haul video of beautiful fabrics I got from Rosie's Quilt Shop Cupboard or whatever it's called, which is here in San Diego, just on the edge of La Mesa. So if you're a San Diegan and you need fabric, that's where you go. I spent a good amount of money buying a lot of fat quarters um, at Rosie's and I'm really pleased with them all. I'm going to make mostly probably headbands out of all of them, but uh, I got this black and white polka dot spots, which I love. Um, there's this one, which reminds me of Moana. I don't, I don't know, it looks Hawaiian. But I love the red. I love that it's cheery. They had um, these Aboriginal prints. This is the only one I got, but I just really think this is gorge. You know what I mean? Um, this one is reminiscent of kind of a Zen Tangly Aboriginal sort of mashup. But um, I really loved how the bright colors are in that. Some of these I got a half a yard of. This is the only one I got a yard of because this needs to be a purse for little old me. It's sushi. Isn't that adorable? Look at that. Oh, so cute. Got this, which I'm going to unfurl a bit because it's books. There's Emma, Moby Dick, The Boxcar Children, Walden, Romeo and Juliet, Pollyanna. Uh, what is this one? Calculus Made Easy, um, Frankenstein, The Great Gatsby, The Picture of Dorian Gray, uh, The Secret Garden. So mostly uh, books I haven't read. So that's awesome. Well, I read through The Looking Glass and I read Romeo and Juliet and uh, Secret Garden. Yeah. So maybe I ought to read more and uh, shop less. Um, I got this one. These are all cotton, by the way which is a nice, uh, it's sort of a, almost a gray black background. It's not dark black. Um, and I really thought it would be cool with this Marvel comics heads thing. Somewhere it's got She-Hulk on here. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, so that's going to be fun. And then I got more, they had a lot of geeky kind of fabric. So I got this periodic table of elements fabric which is really fun can you see that um, also there is this one since I work in a math department now I couldn't help but get this because it's mathy I do not know what it is because I am not mathy I am literary that is all okay you don't all we don't all have to be mathy here is uh, I got this one because I love like the mixtapeness of it I wish I'd gotten more of it now but um, it has like dance club mix 80s mix um, heavy metal punk rock grunge uh, classic blues so it's got like all your genres covered on the fabric so that's fun I had originally gone in there for green because I had no green and I remember I was making a headband at home and I was like, oh, I wish I had green to pack back this up with. Now I have a quarter of a yard of green. I needed to get more green, but they have a lot of fabric and I got distracted. I also wanted brown. Uh, this is also the only brown one that I got. It's ginkgo leaves. That's going to be very cool. Uh, I think I got a half a yard of this Day of the Dead skulls which I think is really fun I'm gonna have some fun with that one uh, here's another with all these little circles I'm really attracted to these circles and the bright colors and the little designs in them they're really speaking to me Jack Skellington I think those are gonna be fun stars now, my last three, um, this one is all like little sewing terms, but they're defined. So it says uh, they're all quilting terms um, or sewing terms. There's there's a couple of, of quilting, uh, but they're, I said this is going to be one take. I'm sorry, it ain't. Well, no, it is. I'm just going to leave this in here and you just have to suffer through it because I'm on vacation. Um, but it has, oh, dearie me, 
It has sew and thimble and safety pin and cut and French knots and blanket stitch with little descriptions on there, but you can tell it's quilt because it's got things like jelly roll and uh, layer cake, and those are all little quilting terms. So that's a bit of funness. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do with these, but I like it when I saw them across the room, it was like, oh, there was like a, a halo of light around these fabrics and they're, really specialized I don't know what to do with them other than make a pillow but my favorite one of my favorite artists is Vincent van Gogh and here are panels of portraits of van Gogh now other than make a pillow and use what's left to put a pocket on something I really don't know what to do with this yet so if you have ideas put them in the comments below what would you do with this fabric and if you find that this you're like oh Hillary girl I know what I'm gonna do with that fabric if you want a challenge other than a pillow please tell me what you will do with this because this is a larger panel of the bedroom at Arles which is one of my favorite paintings which I just happened to see earlier in the summer at the Chicago Institute of Art and it kind of made me cry so that is what that looks like and I think it's amazing. If you have ideas for those two fabrics, I would appreciate them in the comments below. But um, as we all know, we don't just buy fabric because we have an idea for it. We buy fabric because it's a beautiful and it needs buy-in, right? So I hope you're having a great summer. I am. I will be home again making videos. Sorry, my hair is wet and dripping all over the place. So I'm a hot mess. Um, uh, I will be home somewhere around the 15th, I think. Um, and uh, I've, been, I've been away six weeks. So uh, I'll be back in my craft room, which is... 90% done, so I can't wait to show it to you. So I hope you're having a great summer and toodles. Doing anything.